Cassidy, what's your favorite Disney movie? Finding Nemo. So what are we eating for lunch? Nemo. <laughs> I think the tram's gonna pass. Yeah. This is insane. We let go. Christina. I'm Cassidy. And welcome back to our Outback Adventure. Today we are driving through Melbourne. It's really a nightmare um, and both of us have driven through New York City and Long Island which are also but this is absolutely way worse. This is this is the most insane setup I have ever seen. Turn left. Okay. Take the second left. On this is a completely different level I've never even seen. They have trolleys running in the middle of the road trams they got trains going through the city they don't have clear lanes they don't have turning signals they don't even have stop signs like what in the world is this they have roundabouts and um stoplights which doesn't make any sense because they'll have a stoplight before a roundabout but a roundabout's supposed to to be a stop sign basically it's just absolutely awful i am never coming back to melbourne in a car Never. I will. N we actually got here, and within the hour, we decided to leave because of how incredibly difficult it is to navigate through the city. It's just, it's beyond me. It's not worth it. Not worth it. I do not recommend driving in Melbourne. I don't recommend renting a car and going to Melbourne. I recommend flying and walking because it's a little city. It's a tiny New York City, but it's easier to drive in New York. There's clearly a signal saying do not walk, but what does everybody do? Walk. They walk. And what's in my face? Sun. Who is liable? And then over the bridge, can you explain the toll booth, please? No. That, that stoplight? Yeah, you can't uh, even I explain can't. it. I have no idea. Um, I'm like just so absolutely fried right now. I can't yeah. even think. They have trains running through the city where people drive. They have trains. Oh yeah, growing up my parents told me that if you can drive in New York City, you can drive anywhere in the world. They've clearly never been to Melbourne. Melbourne. Continue on M3 for 14 kilometers. What, we need to get there. We've been trying to get there for 40 minutes. This is insanity. What the f Whoa, whoa. Oh, sh An Australian staple is um, boxed wine that they call goon, and it is a five liter sack of cheap alcohol. We paid 14 Australian for this. What is that, 11 American almost? Something like that. $11 for five liters of boxed wine. That is repulsive, and we are going to consume this tonight, so. All of it. Are you excited to try Goon for the first I time? I am very excited. It's a green light. <laughs> what have you heard about Goon? <laughs> um, all I've heard is that it's disgusting and that you have to slap it. <laughs> it tastes like feet, I would say. Okay. But um, the guy at the BWS, the drive-through liquor store, Which said- Which is everywhere here. Pretty much. Said this was the most popular brand, or popular flavor. After the longest, craziest day ever, driving through the city of Melbourne. We've landed at a park. We're just gonna sleep here tonight and see what happens. So. See what we can get into. Let's do this! <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh my god. And now we have to attempt to consume this cheap, cheap, foul beverage. That's not chilled. Five whole liters. How do I even drink this? Okay, so you're gonna you're gonna pull that lever. Up. Wait, wait, wait. put your mouth on the thing first. Wait, there go. you go. Uh -huh. And pull it up. And pull it up. Oh. <laughs> How is it? Gross. Should we have gone to the bar instead? No. <laughs> <laughs> you have to try this at least once in Australia. 
It's the most Australian thing. I've had worse wine. True. This is absolutely beautiful. And somebody's boat's right there. We should hop in. We should flag him down and become friends. I don't think he was in the boat, though. Hmm. I don't know how they got there. Maybe they're snorkeling. Maybe. Maybe there's coral reefs off of this. Maybe. Let's get to Googling. It's definitely drinkable, but it's also very heavy. <laughs> I love it. I've, I've drunk many of these, I can yes. assure you. Yes! Go soup, go soup. Woo! <laughs> oh man, you do it longer than I do. Yeah. Okay, so we are still in, what is this town called? Rosebud? It is Rosebud. We are still in Rosebud. It's about an hour south of Melbourne. And it is a very, very nice area near a military base. And we looked like homeless people chilling, drinking a sack of goon on the beach. And the nicest woman I've ever met. Whose name is Sue. Thank you, Sue. Shout out to Sue. It was her and her husband's anniversary today. And they were just celebrating after a Thai dinner. What was it, 44 years? 44 years, About, I think? yeah. Incredible. Anyway. What an amazing woman backpacking. She was also traveling the world and she just handed us a hundred dollars and told us to have a great night and she was incredible and then she even drank goon with us. <laughs> so see what else this night has to offer.